that technical education should reach all, especially the poorest, and this vision is being realized through the institution. When I stand in the graceful atmosphere of a college campus like this, I am reminded of my student days almost three and a half decades ago down south in College of Engineering, Trivandrum. Those old memories help me connect with all your young friends sitting here. But the world of technology has progressed a lot from then. We had no television sets or TV channels, no cell phones or computers, no internet or emails, no Google search engines or Facebook then. With the emergence of powerful electronic media, most efficient communication systems and information technology, the world of opportunities have come a long way. Naturally, the demand for engineers and managers also have started growing up exponentially. Those days we have not even thought of a concept called campus interview. This is again another major development in today's generations. Friends, we are able to see, feel and appreciate all positive developments in our society because this world and its people are continuously going through a beautiful change process called transformation. In the last three and a half decades of my working with three industries, one thing I am certain, that people who succeed most in their lives are those who can constantly transform themselves. You are all blessed to be in Mangalore with such beautiful facility with regard to higher studies. It should be called as, you know, in, in the history, as a history student, I remember uh, the days of uh, Takshashila and uh, Nalanda universities where it had uh, uh, the prime learning centers in those days. So, no wonder today, Mangalore probably it is the best learning center, especially higher education in India. This is a very age of uh, competition, where it's a cutthroat competition. 95, no, not enough. 97, not enough. 98%, yes. 99%. So such is the competition here in this world. You're all brainies, hardworking, definitely 90 plus. All this goes a long way in your career. But my only sincere request to you all, young, young mind, is to have a nice body to facilitate a good young brains with that. So, devote at least one hour a day for the at least physical fitness, so that you can you can have a nice, beautiful body and mind throughout your career, throughout your life, so that you can enjoy what all you are uh, hard, doing hard work in your younger days, probably another 5-10 years you have to work hard and have your own career. All goes well provided you have a good uh, healthy body also. So nowadays there is a little it's waning in the society so to say in the younger student life where the competition is more to have more marks than have the physical fitness. My congratulations first and foremost to all the students who have performed so well in your studies. Your hard work is recognized today. I request all the students to be fully focused 
to your studies. Be the best students who have a goal set in their mind and work with perseverance to achieve it. You have achieved, you have become achievers. May your studies build confidence in you to master all the required knowledge to become competent engineers and leaders. Congratulations once again. The society around us needs good leaders with values and integrity. This college, my dear students, is molding you to be such persons. Do not allow to get yourself distracted by internet, cell phones, social networks, bad friendships or bad things to take control of you, but you take control of your life and your studies. Be the master of yourself. Learn to respect your teachers, your classmates and your parents and grow as people of respect and gratitude. Always try to become more efficient and more effective. This is what I request each of you students today. Success can come to you only through hard work.